But again, if you're in the Number top seven, three, you can win it. It will be hard for these two to catch the Chinese pair team, but they do have a shot, I think, to overtake the Russians, but they'll have to skate well. team obviously capable of winning the gold medal in any event in which they skate but they have been inconsistent this season a win in Germany at Nations Cup but then at home at Trophy La Ligue they finished off the podium they placed fourth and that was a surprise to them so here they'll try to pick it up nice opening side by side triple toe loops they know or if they don't know, they have a good idea of how well the Chinese skated right before them because of the mark. So you feel that pressure and you try to skate up to it, if not better. Little touchdown for her. Certainly a clear choice for the judges. Much different styles between all three of the pairs. Drove it off, Shannon Zhao, and now Abby Bolin, Bernadise. right there if you can think back to Shui Shen and the way she landed the throws there's a big difference Sarah is very strong but she wants to try to stand more upright on the landings to do these lifts and keep the speed going because your legs are burning up. You don't want to drop off. And that's where the training comes in. And doing your program five days a week in practice. for the 
back outside death spiral. These two very creative. Well, it will not be easy to beat Shen and Zhao. And Abby Bowman Bernadise were not perfect. That is true, and yeah, he's kind of saying, yeah, come on, let's hear some uh, applause. The odd Japanese audience here in this building certainly respects what they're seeing, but it's a very different type of applause than one might be used to in the sport of figure skating. It's a reserve crowd. Yes, indeed. Stefan Bernadese trying to get them up out of their seats, and many of them have been enough to give them a standing ovation. Abby Paul Bernadese, the 2000 World Bronze Medalist, and now they'll skate over to Kiss and Cry and wait for the opinion of the judges. All in all, they skated fairly well. Here we're taking a look at the side-by-side -side double axles, and she touches her hand down right there. Again, keeping that back per perpendicular so that you don't bend over and have a touchdown like that, very important. Here's the throw double axle. I love this because it's so much in control that watch her flick her hands right there, saying, yeah, I got it, no problem. She nailed that. And then this lift, no assist, he takes her down low and then presses her, as we say, dead weight right to the top and then a somersault, flip around the back. Nice innovation there. So the Chinese may be untouchable at the top, but the real battle could come down to that silver bronze between Petrov and Tikhanov and the French technical merit marks, 5.4 to 5.8. Very close uh, to see what will happen for this fight for second place. Good marks for them, uh, up to a 5.8 from the U.S. judge. They've got to be pleased with that. Presentation marks. Five sevens, five eights, wow. and it is enough. Abby Bowman, Bernadise, Peter, they grab the second spot. It's a big improvement for them to upset the world champions. But Shen and Zhao from China, the two-time world silver medalist, the gold medalist here at the NHK Trophy. Abby Bowman, Bernadise settle for the silver, and Petrova and Tikhanov, the reigning world champions, have yet to win on the season. They end up with the bronze medal. And overall.